Hi everyone, on behalf of IU Radiation Oncology Department, I would like to talk about our radiation plan review, a recent change that we have, that we have made to our curriculum. I'm Mona Arbob, I'm a PGY-5 at IU. Um, our program does annual needs assessment to improve our curriculum. And as residents, we have all experienced uh, being in peer reviews and looking at DVHs and plans and having no idea what is going on and what is everyone talking about. Um, therefore, uh, we decided to talk about this with our program director and ask him if there could be any improvements done in our uh, plan review and eval sessions. Uh, we have daily prospective peer reviews happening from 1230 to 1, so these sessions are very short and basically we just go over contours and plans really quickly. And there's not much time for education. At the same time, in our clinics, we can get pretty busy, so we don't have um, a lot of time to go over plans with faculty as well. So we decided to add a session to our monthly didactics. Our, my, our monthly didactics is actually focused on a specific disease. So for example, this month we are focusing on head and neck. So we added a session uh, called resident peer review session to our monthly didactic, which will focus on head and neck um, cases. We decided to design this um, session based on the Kolb's cycle that I'm sure you're all familiar with. It starts with concrete experience, moves on to reflective observation, abstract conceptualization, and finally active experimentation. Uh, for these sessions, we mainly focused on ref reflective observation and abstract conceptualization. Uh, we just wanted to give the residents the opportunity to reflect on what they have learned about plan and um, eval, and then also try to learn from their experience by sharing cases. As I mentioned earlier, this is an hour session per month. Uh, we invite dosimetrists and faculty to be part of this session. They talk about um, how to do contours, how dosimetrists do planning, um, how they put the fields on, um, and our faculty basically highlight what they focus on when they're reviewing plans. And we try to like only pick around three to four cases for each session um, to give us enough time to have more discussion and going through each step. And we design the sessions for sure based on the famous CV CHOP acronym that everyone is familiar with. Uh, we have only seven residents when we started doing this the beginning of this academic year. Um, so far, um, the feedback we have received is that all residents have been really satisfied with the addition of this session to our curriculum, and they think that it actually helped them uh, understand contouring and also uh, plan eval uh, better, and they now feel more confident participating in peer reviews and asking questions and looking at different aspects of uh, peer review. What we are looking forward to doing is adding active experimentation, which was the last step of the COLB cycle to our curriculum. So from now on, we're going to ask our faculty and dosimetrists to provide feedback about residents' ability to review plans and what they think is missing. So we can continue to focus on that aspect in the next academic year. We also would love to collaborate with other institutes to have a better plan review curriculum design so other programs can also use that as well. And the last step, which we would love to do, is to work closely with dosimetrists and physicists to help us design some scenarios uh, for plan evaluations and also give us some plans that are not really good so we can ask residents to, to determine the aspects that they would like to be changed in the plans and uh, see the improvements afterwards. Thank you so much for the time and um, look forward to the meeting. These are my re references as well.